Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is your host, Santos Kapagan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Guys, today what I'm planning to do is to continue my uh, tips for those uh, new engineers or technical course graduates who are wishing to join this exciting field of engineering, which is building automation or building management system. Okay, so this will be part three of my practical test that you might be able to encounter, okay, in the near future. Now, guys, uh, this will be my intro for this one. So, part three, BMS practical test for BMS engineer supervisor post, okay. But, of course, for man or technician, you could also watch this uh, tutorial. So, guys, uh, before anything else, I would like to give thanks for this good opportunity to help you people, okay? Then, of course, I would like to greet my subscribers in India. Uh, TK, I hope everything is fine at your end. I support all the viewers all around the world. Thank you very much for uh, supporting my channel, okay? So, today, we will start the part three okay now but before anything else i would like to give uh, i would like to review so we try to study in part two the different logic gates that we can use in our control logic programming okay then we try to explain also the truth table this is the very important part of this understanding the truth table because it has something to do with the inputs and outputs that can control a digital output, okay, guys? So uh, let's start with this one, okay? So let me show you my uh, engineering tool, okay? Now, it's a solution provider company. They will be having their own first uh, graphics builder, okay, for BMS. Then they will also have their own <coughs> programming if it is functional block or script so they will be having their engineering tool now my engineering tool is this building operation menta editor okay now this is a function uh, function block programming when i say function block you will be using blocks okay like this one this is a digital input blocks then i have a digital output blocks okay now actually the common information processing or in programming how it is being processed first you have the inputs then you have the process here so you will have the processing part of the processing information then you have the output now in building management system we will be dealing with uh, inputs these inputs might come from the field or within your software we call it software point okay now the purpose of this uh, part three is to show you this logic gate where you can use it in simple logic programming. Okay. Now I have the equivalent uh, function block end gate. Okay. So I have an end gate here. Okay. The, the symbol is different from the uh, logic gates I've shown you in my previous tutorial. Okay. In my previous screen. Now this is the NAT gate. Okay. So as you can see, the NAT gate, there will be always a small circle here okay now the or gate then the exclusive or okay now uh let's say in your practical test you will say okay i will give you several blocks then you try to uh develop the logic how i'm going to start the fun based on this sequence of operation guys this is the most important part of this one so future engineers and future technician, BMS operator, foreman, or supervisor. This is an uh, important aspect of uh, programming, right? Control logic programming. Okay. Now, before anything else, before you start writing your control logic program, it is very important to look for the approved sequence of operation. Now, maybe your question is where this approved sequence of operation will come from, okay? Now, first, uh, as I said in my previous tutorials, you have to look for the standard documents. And part of the standard document is the 
like the mechanical uh, material submittals or mechanical uh, list of materials that is being needed in the project, okay? So equipment schedule, we have the equipment schedule, then in that document, maybe you will be able to find the approved sequence of operation. So first look for the approved sequence of operation in the mechanical specification of the project, especially for example, this is a fan. Then you will go to the uh, equipment schedule. Then you will look for exhaust fans or fans, air handling unit, and other HVAC equipment. So you look for the uh, sequence of operation. Okay. Then based on that sequence of operation, you need to you will be able to start your program because you cannot just write the control logic program as you wish. Again, you will not be the one to decide how this equipment should operate. Okay. So always depend your control logic program from the approved material, uh, from the approved sequence of operation to avoid further problem or uh, revisions. Okay, because the consultant that will be sitting in front of you will say, "Why did you write this? Why did you write this program?" Then you can say, "This is based on the approved sequence of operation." Then you should have in your hand the approved sequence of operation, so you will be okay. Then, of course, you need to explain. Okay, anyway, that is uh, another tutorial. Now, here, uh, based on the simple logic gates, how are we going to start the fan? Now, what I'm showing you here are input blocks, digital input, then output block, digital output. Okay, so meaning we will be controlling this fan. Okay, now the sequence of operation, if fan is in auto and there is no trip, guys, Look at this condition. There is no trip. Okay. Then there is some negation there. There is no trip alarm and there is no fire. Okay. So there should be no fire. Then the fan can be started by building management system. Okay. So this is a very simple sequence of operation. Okay. Now the logic gates that we are we will be needing here. Actually, we are going to use this end, then this not gate. Then we will see if we will use this exclusive or and or gate, okay. But first, uh, as I said, uh, let me put some comment here so that I can stress the following. Okay, so let, let me just make it a little bit. Uh, okay, so my favorite aroma. And let's fold it. Okay, then what's the size 12? Okay. Okay, so first, we need to specify our inputs. Okay, then... I will copy this, control C, control B, okay, then I will put it here. This column will be for our output, okay. Output, okay, then, I, okay, I will control B again, then this part will be our processing. So this is the basic uh, flow of information when you are doing the control logic program, okay. Okay, then let's this one. Okay. Now, based on the sequence of operation, I find is in auto. Okay. So this digital block or input block, I will give the proper identification for this block. So I will say uh, fan. Okay. H O A. Okay, guys. If you are following my tutorial, you will notice how I'm trying to give identifier name. Okay. 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 Then mm, what else? Control C, Control V. I will just copy this one because I need another input. Now I have considered already the fan auto, which is this one. Then there is no trip alarm, so I will change the identifier of this. I will say trip. Okay. Now. Uh, then and there is no fire. There is no fire. Control B again. Okay. So I will change this to fire alarm. Fire alarm status. Okay. Now, guys, uh, I will I'll be explaining the rest of the black info like this public later in my. Upcoming tutorials, okay. 
Now, I'm just going to show you how these logic gates can be used to program the equipment. Uh, we have here a single fan, okay? Now, I have already the inputs needed to comply with this sequence of operation. Now, this one, I have the... This one, I need to give a fan SS CMD. So, fan start stop. SS stands for start stop CMD for command, okay? Now, okay, how about... So, I've just completed the input, then the output. Because then the fan can be started. Now, this start stop command is the one giving the start command to the motor control, okay? So, we have the inputs, then we have the output. So this is control and monitoring, okay? Now, for the processing, how are we going to start this based on this condition, okay? So uh, here, as you can see, there is no trip, okay? There is no trip, no trip. So I will connect this to my uh, NAT gate. Now, guys, you don't need to name uh, the gates, it's not compulsory, but for the black inputs and the black output, you need to name it because it will not be compiled if there is no identifier for the important blocks. Okay. Now, again, there should be no fire. Okay. So let me copy this control C, control D. Okay. Why like this? Giving some error here. Okay. Then, okay, then I can say, based on my condition, if fan is in auto, okay, so that is one of the condition. I will use it as an input of my end logic gate. Then, if fan is in auto, okay, if fan is in auto, and there is no trip alarm, so there is no, okay, because this one, I will, if there is no trip here, okay, I will explain later the trip table, okay. Then there is no fire alarm. Now I'm going to use uh, another end gate here. Simple block. Then let's say I will use this end gate. Okay. Now, okay. So this one. So there is no fire. Now I will use the output of this here. Then the output will be the one to three gear the start stop. Okay. Now let me explain. So if fan is in auto, fan is in auto, yes. Then fan trip, there's no trip, okay. Then one, okay, okay. Now let's trace. Let's say, okay, so I will, let me remove this one because I'll, uh, I, I will not use that one. So a simple two end gates and two not gate will satisfy this simple sequence of operation. So meaning if this is one, Okay, so if there's no trip, so this, this will be zero. Then the output of this NAT gate will be one, then one and one, then the output of this will be one. So I have a one input. Okay, so please try to uh, trace the signals. Then fire alarm, there's no fire alarm, zero. Then it will be inverted to one. Then the, the input here will be one. So one and one will make the output of an end gate one. So I'll be feeding a one signal here, meaning start the fan. Okay, so let's say there is, it is in auto, one. Then there is fire, one. There is fire. Then it will be inverted to zero, then zero. So the output of this is zero. Now remember the through table of end gate, both input should be one before it will give an output of one. Okay, now the inverter or the not gate it's just inverting. If you had an input one here, it will become zero. If you have an input zero here, it will become one. So this logic gate can be used to satisfy a simple programming uh, language. Now let's try to say this one. Okay, can I simulate it? Okay. Okay, burning. Okay, maybe I need to buy. Do I need to buy this one? Yeah, I need to buy this. Okay, okay, then okay, it's already binded. Now let us bind this. Okay, let's uh, let's use two. 
so that we can uh, what do you call this so we can uh, simulate okay let's bind it to aha senta 281 so i'm using a senta 281 only so it has only two uh -huh. okay so need, we need to change the device specification senta 281 now uh okay 282 let's see what the chosen way cannot handle more okay 283 okay so there are only okay it should not be 281 i will add, i need to select uh program specification okay i think i need to change the device specification here now let's use the 401 401, okay, that, but if you are using a 401 base controller, you need to add IO mode, okay? So this is 411, I will add this one, okay? Then I need to add a module like, uh, which I think this one, 4218, okay? Okay, now I need to bind, again, I need to bind this, okay? But... I will bind it to my module one, okay, X1, okay, okay, then let me bind this so that I can show you, bind, okay, now I need to bind it to my module one, okay, X2, okay, okay, then I need to bind this also to my uh, module one, okay, so this one, three, okay, okay, then bind this one, so that it will be, okay, I think I have my portal one, yeah, K1, okay. Okay, then that's the time to do the simulate. Okay, good. Now, this simulation will give, it will give you the clear picture of this simple program, okay. Ops, so, okay, let, let me do it. Cycle, okay, execute. Okay, now my program is already running. Now, this one, as you can see, we can see the signal. Okay, so we can see the signal. I don't know if you are seeing my. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Share this one. Okay, so this is my um, simulation. Okay, now here, these are the inputs. Okay, so I have here hand of auto. As you can see, my fan motor control selector switch is not in automatic of course there is no trip and there's no fire alarm okay so i first i will simulate okay i put in automatic then as you can see now this is how you will trace the signal i have one here it will be fed here then i have a one here it will be fed here now my output now it's showing the output here then i have a zero here then it will become one because of the inverter then it will be fed here then this one the final output of this second end gate will be fed to our digital output. Then it will start. Now, how about if it's not in automatic? Of course, the BMS control will take effect when it when the equipment is in automatic. Okay, so bear that bear that in your mind. You can only run or operate the equipment in automatic when it is in the selector switch is in auto. Okay. Now, oh, okay, let me put it back to auto. Then, let's say it trips. Okay, as you can, uh, you can see the fan is started. Now, there's a trip. So, it will stop. I remove the trip. There's fire. Of course, it will stop. Because this fan is uh, being used for ventilation purposes. That's why if there is fire, we should stop this one. Okay? There is no fire. Again, it will uh, start. The fan will start. So this sequence of operation can be handled by two end gates and two NAT gates. Okay. So again, guys, this is part three. How you are going to use the logic gates in a simple sequence of operation. So guys, if you are new to my channel, please uh, help me promote my channel by subscribing. You can click the notification bell if you are uh, interested with this the practical test if you are planning to join the field of building automation or building management system okay then you can also subscribe then you can share the video tell your friends 
with the same enthusiasm as you are. Okay, then before I will end this tutorial, I will always say God bless us all. Let's all be safe and bye-bye.